Hey everyone, it's Carla from Sea Law Plans. I am here to plan in my Moxie life for September 27th to October 4th. And I am just going to do a plan with me for my horizontal. I created this little Franken planner with the vertical and the horizontal for each week. So I have two weeks basically in one week. And I've been using my vertical to keep track of all of my kids' school stuff. So I'm just going to be doing the plan with me on the horizontal because this is what I usually use to keep track of my non-kid school schedule in addition to all of my home chores and other items that I need to be doing. And so I decided to keep with the splitting of my days. I actually really like having the schedule on the right side, all of my main to-dos in the middle, and then all of my home maintenance on my left. And this week is a little bit of a special week for me because the planner, Moxie Life, is celebrating their very first year of being a planner company, and I'm really excited about that. And so right here, I'm actually decorating the official day of their first year. So that's very happy. And I really have been enjoying this planner a lot. It's actually helped me a lot kind of keep track of everything that I want to do. I've never been a goal setter before, but this planner has helped me achieve a lot of things that I didn't think was possible just because of the way that everything is broken down. And so I am very excited about the company celebrating their very first year. And so I just had to go ahead and decorate the day and it ap actually happens to fall on a Saturday, which is really nice because I don't usually do a lot of planning or scheduling on Saturdays, um, especially with COVID. Everything has kind of gotten really jacked up with our weekends. And so I was really excited that I was able to just kind of decorate the whole day. And as you can see here, Tuesday is National Coffee Day. I'm sure that I will be doing something amazing for that day, but I haven't figured out what quite yet. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm using the Zebra Gel Glitter Highlighters. I can't remember what the names are. There's some name to them. I'll put the link down below. But they are basically the highlighters that are glitter they're really pretty, but they're super duper watery. And I was actually extremely disappointed when I decided to actually use this throughout my planner. So when I was using it as my checkbox, I don't know if you guys can tell or not on the video, but it leaves like a little pool of water at the very bottom. And I didn't pay attention. And as I was flipping through to look at my calendar to reference for my appointments, some of the highlighter got all over the other page. And so close up, my pages are an absolute mess right now, which I'm really disappointed in, especially because I wanted this week to be super pretty for the Moxie Life birthday week. But you know what? Things happen and we're just going to roll with the punches and just make it a memory and just laugh at it later. And so I will remember not to use those. Um, I do have some friends that have some that say that they aren't as watery as mine. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, and so basically, I'm just going to finish out this week with some of my headers. I always get really confused as to what to write for these headers because I feel like to do is super simple and I just really wanted to change it up. So I just wrote do it because apparently that's a lot different than just writing to do. I don't know. It just felt right at the time. But um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up with all of my headers and then I am going to just make sure that I have all of my scheduled stuff in there as well. And because of the kids' school schedule, we just don't really have a lot going on otherwise. And so that's actually kind of nice that I can just refer to my kids' school schedule and all of their assignments and just have everything there as well. And it's in my same planner here. It's actually the week before this or the page before this. And so it's nice to be able to have everything kind of in one location. And so I will go ahead and make sure that I have all of my links down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. I will also be posting the before images and after images after I've planned my week on my Instagram. So make sure you're following over there also. And make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And I will see you next time. Bye.